Don Henley expresses frustration and reveals past arrest in Eagles lyrics theft. Trial seated at a witness stand in Manhattan court, Don Henley displayed a mix of restraint and occasional indignation during his testimony in a trial centered around the alleged theft of handwritten lyrics from the Eagles' iconic album, Hotel California. Henley's appearance was marked by his firm denial of having sent lyric drafts to writer Ed Sanders for an Eagles biography project over Quaranta years ago, emphasizing that regardless of how the materials were delivered, Sanders had no right to retain or sell them. The trial involves three men, Glenn Horowitz, Craig Nciardi, and Edward Kaczynski, accused of conspiring to sell these allegedly stolen notepads, who have all pleaded not guilty. The prosecution argues that the defendants fabricated stories about the origins of the pads, which were supposed to be returned to the Eagles after Sanders completed his never-published book. Henley, sporting white hair and dressed formally, shared insights into the Eagles' album sales, their meticulous songwriting process, and the personal and professional turmoil following the band's breakup in 1982. He expressed devastation over the band's end, highlighting its significance to him. A surprising moment in the testimony came when Henley discussed a past arrest in 1980, revealing a night of poor judgment that led to his arrest along with a young woman at his home, following which he pled no contest to a misdemeanor charge. The focus then shifted to the unpublished book by Sanders. Henley voiced skepticism about Sanders' fit for writing the Eagles' biography, given Sanders' background and differing musical ethos. Despite initial reservations, Henley had provided Sanders access to the lyric pads in hopes of enhancing the book's quality. These pads, according to Henley, were personal work products never meant for public view. Henley's discovery in Wamilidos of the missing pads being auctioned led to legal actions and his own efforts to reacquire the materials, emphasizing his stance against what he saw as extortion. During cross-examination, Henley faced questions about his earlier interactions with Sanders, including a letter encouraging the book's publication and a recorded phone call discussing the availability of materials for Sanders to review. Despite defense efforts to challenge Henley's claims about the intended privacy of the materials, Henley remained firm on his lack of recall regarding requests for the materials' return. 